in today. And great turnout uh, for a real historic day here for the Lower Mainland and, and basketball in the city of Abbotsford. And uh, exciting times to come. And you're not here to listen to me talk, so I'll get right into things. And first uh, person I'd like to bring up is Andrew Nash. He is the general manager of the Abbotsford Center here in Abbotsford in charge of day-to-day -day operations and securing tenants uh, for the building, which he has done a fantastic job of here with the CEBL. Welcome. It's a little up a little higher than I anticipated. Uh, good morning, everybody. I uh, apologize if I kind of fumble through this a uh, bit of a late night here with our uh, John Fogarty show here that we had last night, packed house in here. But uh, uh, exciting day. Uh, and on behalf of Spectre, Spectre Venue Management and the staff here at the Abbotsford Centre, uh, I would like to personally uh, uh, welcome everybody here. We're excited for uh, today's announcement and honored to, have, honored to have been selected by the Canadian Elite Basketball League as one of the six locations uh, who will kick off in Canada, who will kick off their inaugural season here in 2019. The sport of basketball continues to grow in the community and throughout the Fraser Valley region with competitive high school and university programs. Uh, and the inclusion, excuse me, and the inclusion of the CEBL further expands to, uh, to our robust event schedule uh, during the summer months and brings new fans uh, for their new league and uh, it's exciting uh, what they have to bring to the table and what they're going to uh, uh, launch here today with, with some of the beginning steps so I won't take too much of your more, more of your time but we I know they are uh, really looking forward to integrating uh, this new team into the community and we are uh, really looking forward to having them uh, come into the, and uh, utilize the Abbotsford Center as their home. So without further ado I'd like to uh, again thank you for coming out and uh, uh, showing your support. Um, and we, l we look forward to welcoming, welcoming the CEBL uh, and you, the fans, uh, into the inaugural season in 2019. Thank you. John Fogarty last time. I must have missed my invitation uh, somehow there. Maybe next time. Um, thanks, Andrew. Uh, next up, uh, the Honorable Mayor, Henry Braun, uh, has been mayor here at the city of Abbotsford since 2014 and has done a lot of good work here in the last uh, few years and come on up mayor thank you. thank you Jake and good morning it's great to see everybody out this morning uh, before I begin I would just like to begin by acknowledging that the land on which we are gathered today is a traditional and unceded territory of the Stolo nation on behalf of the City of Abbotsford and Abbotsford City Council, <coughs> uh, I just, and joining me are Councillor uh, Les Barkman, who's an avid uh, supporter of basketball, and maybe uh, you will need to call, him, call on him to ref a game or two, he does that quite often. And of course, Councillor Lowen is here as well, who was a great high school basketball player uh, when we were both a lot younger than we are now. And together with Councillor Blue and Councillor Ross and Councillor Gill are here as well. So thank you for joining me. We are proud to be here today to welcome the Canadian Elite Basketball League to Abbotsford and the Fraser Valley. As a mayor, it's always a privilege and a pleasure for me to be part of a community's firsts. And with today's launch, we're celebrating the first professional basketball team in Abbotsford and, uh, and the Fraser Valley. And that is something to be excited about. Today marks the beginning of a great community partnership. As a city, our vision is to build Abbotsford, the hub of the Fraser Valley, as a home for centralized services and agencies. And this includes being a destination for entertainment. And speaking of uh, this destination, according to venues today, the Abbotsford Centre is regarded as the premier events arena in Western Canada uh, in the 5,000 to 10,000 uh, category. And Polster named Abbotsford uh, Centre uh, number 148 of the top 200 venues worldwide. This is a great facility in a great location in a great city. We have an excellent tradition of sport in this community from hosting national competitions, events like the BC Summer Games, and provincial championships, to building skilled athletes, 
and teams, as well as a love for sport through community sports programs, local schools, and of course the University of the Fraser Valley, which is just next door. And now we have an elite professional basketball team to add to a rich legacy. CEBL is going to bring a special vibe and excitement to our community with the passionate, fast-paced, high-energy play of basketball. But it goes much beyond that. Sports brings people together, developing community pride and a community spirit. It helps to build a community identity and gives us lots to talk about on the streets, in the office, at school, or in our coffee shops. Sport supports a vibrant economy. And something that I think is really important, sport and professional athletes spur our youth to work hard, enjoy physical activity, and have big dreams. Who knows, maybe the, they'll, be the next, they'll be the next professional athlete from Abbotsford and the Fraser Valley. I hope the CEBL and our Fraser Valley team will build deep roots in our community. And I know this new team will be welcomed with great enthusiasm. Steve Nash, that ultimate Canadian basketball player from our own province, has said this, and I'm quoting, the guys that improve every year are those that are always adding something new to their game. We can't wait to see what Abbotsford and the Fraser Valley can add to the game of the CEBL, and we look forward to seeing what the CEBL and this team will contribute to the city of Abbotsford and the Fraser Valley. In this city and in our region, we have big hearts for sport and our athletes, and we wholeheartedly welcome the CEBLA and the Fraser Valley Professional Basketball Club to our community. We can't wait to get started. So Mike and Lee, welcome to our city. Welcome CEBL to a growing and thriving community. We're ready to go. Thank you. Wonderful speech there, Mayor. Uh, you might have a future in politics. Uh, um, next up, uh, a man that needs no introduction as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'll start with, he's the new color commentator for the Hamilton Tiger Cats now because that's near and dear to my heart, of course. But he's also the CEO of the CB CEBL. Uh, 12 years in the CFL with <coughs> the Tiger Cats and Argonauts. Um, <laughs> former president of the Players Association as well. And uh, the man in charge, Mike Moriali, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Jake. I used to try to avoid guys like you on the field all the time. So it's nice that you're standing over there. This is good. Uh, Mr. Mayor, welcome. Thank you very much for the kind words. All the counselors in attendance, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Andrew and Dustin, your team, uh, your expanded team here at the Abbotsford Center, uh, it, it's, it really is a great honor to be here. You are the sixth stop on our kind of launch tour. And um, we uh, like to say we saved the best for last. Uh, so we're going to say that today, and I'll say that again to the next team that we add down the line at some point. But uh, we are certainly a, a growing league, uh, a league that has uh, came out of the, the love for basketball, the love for sport, and the love for community. And I think, uh, Mr. Mayor, you talked about it, that, that sport is truly the best uh, uh, grouping together of community uh, and all the best that community has to offer, and we're happy to bring it to the Fraser Valley and to Abbotsford. Uh, the Ab Abbotsford Center is a, just a tremendous uh, facility that we're really excited to be part of. Uh, I think the size is perfect. Uh, there's some great communal gathering areas where people can meet. Um, the, the, the sound, the lighting, the, the look and feel of this is, is a great uh, venue to play in. And I think will be, as Lee will tell you, he's going to put as many people as humanly possible in here to enjoy a really good uh, product of basketball but more importantly, uh, a really good entertainment package for the people of this community in the Fraser Valley, Valley community to, to rally behind. Um, as far as the CBL, it really was, was created to grow uh, the legacy of basketball in this country. And, and if people are paying attention about basketball in Canada, it's grown by leaps and bounds in terms of the number of players we have in playing in the NBA drafted to the NBA, playing overseas at international leagues. Uh, there's about 160 Canadians playing professionally overseas, and a lot of people may say, I didn't know that, and, and that's, that's the reason for the CBL, is that too many of our great quality 
basketball players have to leave this country to play professionally elsewhere or go to the NCAA or just go to use their youth sports teams and then they're done. We want to bring those players back. We want to encourage players that are playing uh, even in high school and lower to have dreams and aspirations to play professionally in their hometown, in their, in their country. And we believe that basketball is a very multicultural sport. It attracts all different walks of life. It doesn't cost a lot of money to pick up a basketball and, and shoot it in a hoop. And it's, it's uh, represented by everybody. And I think the Fraser Valley and Abbotsford in particular is a very multicultural area that we think will be very welcome to the sport of basketball and what the CBL has to offer. Uh, I'm very blessed that I have a tremendous team that works behind me. Um, and uh, Lee is one of them, and we'll get Lee up here in a minute. Uh, but certainly, everything that we've created, we've created for, for the fans and for the people and for the community. And uh, we're very encouraged by everything that has happened to date and the welcome that we've received here. And I know you'll be excited about the team and, and the logo uh, as we unveil it here shortly. But thank you so much for, for being here in attendance, and um, welcome to the CBL. Thank you. The only difference between Mike and myself is that it looks like Mike could still actually play the game today. Um, our last guest coming up here is uh, part of the reason that I'm here and, and our paths uh, crossed when Lee became the very first president of the Saskatchewan Rush of the National Lacrosse League. And if there's one thing I know about Lee, anything he touches usually turns successful and, and I would firmly believe that'll be the case here in Abbotsford in the Fraser Valley again. He is the CEO or COO of Western, Opera Western Operations here. 19 years as a CFL director. You got a handful of rings to go along uh, to prove that. I mentioned the, the founding president of Saskatchewan Rush, 2016 executive. Lee sent me some notes on himself here, ladies and gentlemen, so <laughs> bear with me. Uh, no, I won't, I won't take any more of your time. Let's welcome up Lee Genier, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Jake. Thanks. Uh, thank you all very much uh, for attending, ladies and gentlemen, your worship, counselors. Um, today is a very special day is because we are starting a new chapter in the Fraser Valley. And when, you know, we talk about um, Abbotsford, obviously we're playing out of the Abbey Center, which is a fantastic center. Uh, when Andrew uh, and his team uh, had Mike and I, myself last ne night here for uh, John Fogarty, we wanted to see this building full, uh, you know, just a great atmosphere. Uh, and, you know, and that's what we intend to do on every game night here is create an amazing event, put on amazing show, amazing basketball on the court. And like I say, is 10 events, right? So, uh, you know, obviously our season runs from uh, May to August. So obviously we're going to be very mindful of the nights um, and what that looks like. So um, I couldn't be more excited uh, to be here in this position as president and chief operating officer uh, and that and being part of the community as well. Uh, anyone like, like I said, I've been in sports for uh, 30 years. Um, you know, I'm not going to, I joke is I used to watch Mike play when I was a kid, but uh, uh, you know, it, it, like I say, it's been an incredible journey so far. Uh, you know, w I think Mike called me three months ago and, uh, you know, when launching something that is so incredible and, like I say, you're really blazing a trail uh, from the grassroots uh, to being part of the community to really what this means to a community, uh, as Mayor Braun has said. Uh, it inspires, uh, you know, individuals from grade school right through the university that, hey, this is the next stop. This is the professional ranks and to bring back the talent that plays around the world. So, uh, you know, the team will live here in, in Abbotsford, so you will see them in the community. You will see us in the community. And so that is, uh, you know, a big part of what we tend to bring uh, to the Valley. So. Uh, I don't think, uh, you know, uh, without further ado, again, I want to thank Andrew and his staff, Dustin, for, and, and Kayla, for bringing us here and uh, putting on a great show for us today, and thank everybody for attending. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, we're all here about the name and the logo 
of this new team. So without further ado, I would like to turn everybody's attention to the Jumbotron. And I give you your newest professional sports team. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Fraser Valley Bandits. Thank you very much. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I, uh, I probably should have called to get my attire to match up uh, on the colors and logo here, but Fraser Valley Bandits, uh, I like it a lot. Uh, well done, everybody. Just so everybody knows, there's USB sticks uh, just in the back there with all the logo and, and information that you may need. And Lee and Mike uh, will be available for one-on-one -on -one interviews for our media that are here today. And once again, thank you for everybody to coming to the Abbey Center for uh, the logo and team unveiling here today. It's, uh, it's been a fun day, and this is just the beginning of professional basketball here in the Fraser Valley. Thanks for coming, everybody.